Girls, your mother and I are getting divorced. Monogamy isn't realistic. Monogamy isn't realistic. Again. Monogamy isn't realistic. I didn't understand that word at the time, but now I know exactly what he was talking about. Saturday, I would love it if you were my date. I can't do that because like, you and I won't ever see each other again. I wake up late every morning, man, just cooling, I'm still oh. yawning. Morning. Oh, Amy. What happened? The church let out early? Uh, 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 oh, I like Tom's sweater. Does he teach computer in a church basement? Don't get all threatened just because you don't understand the concept of marriage. You dress him like that so nobody else wants to have sex with him. That's cool. Hey. I'm just a modern chick who does what she wants. Last week, it was this guy. Is that wine in the box? Hey, Mark Wahlberg. Shut up. Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg's like 150 pounds. I look like Mark Wahlberg ate Mark Wahlberg. Before you judge, you should know I'm doing fine. My friends are awesome, my apartment's sick, and I have a great job at a men's magazine. I like you, Amy. You're clever, but you're not too brainy. You're pretty-ish, and you're not gorgeous. You're approachable. Thank you. Yeah. I'm giving you an assignment. I need a profile on a sports doctor. So you're doing the article on me? Mm-hmm. Sorry to interrupt. We watching Downton Abbey later? LeBron, I'm being interviewed. Listen, I'm watching it tonight because I'm not going to go to practice and all the guys are talking about it and I'm left out. Tall. Do you follow sports? Sports. I love them. Who's your favorite team? The Orlando Bloom. Do you want to get a drink? Yeah. What am I doing? I slept at the doctor's place last night. My boy got intimate. Yes. Sexual intercourse. Oh! You never spend the night. What were you, blackout drunk? No, I had like two drinks. Three, max. Four, now that I'm tallying. Because you're on antibiotics or something? Hey. Oh my god, he's calling me. Why would he call? You guys just had sex. This is Amy. I think you butt dialed me. No, I dialed you with my fingers. What's she saying? What's she saying? Shh. He called me on purpose. Hang up. He's obviously like sick or something. <laughs> I was calling to say I had a really good time last night. I was wondering if you wanted to um, hang out again. I'm going to call the police. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So when I first heard that Amy Schumer was making a movie, I was like, no way in heck I'm watching that. Because to date, I have found Amy Schumer's work to just be too crass for me. Uh, but then I saw this trailer and I was like, wow, that actually looks pretty darn good. And I think Amy Schumer has done an excellent job of crafting herself a really strong mainstream property. And she's also very uh, smart and lucky to be teaming up with Judd Apatow, who I think works very hard to kind of break the stereotypes, not just in movies, but especially in comedies. And also, especially, especially these days, with female comedians. Uh, he did an excellent job producing Bridesmaids, which had a very strong relatability factor, which I also see at play here. Uh, and then in Girls, though, another project from Judd Apatow, I think that that lost its relatability factor because it became so in love with the idea of going there. So it just became too gross and exhibitionist, and I actually stopped watching girls this season because I just felt it went too far. But again, this is more in the vein of Bridesmaids. But I also think it reminds me of Knocked Up. And of course, that was also directed by Judd Apatow. And with Seth Rogen in that movie, Judd Apatow and Rogen were able to break the stereotype of what a male romantic lead was like. And I see the same thing happening here with a female romantic lead. And that's really awesome. But this trailer doesn't just look good for Amy Schumer and what she's accomplishing, uh, and also because it's funny, but I also really like a lot of the other actors who are being utilized here in really unique and fun ways. For instance, how cool is it that Bill Hader is the romantic male lead? Like that, that's like the real guy in life that you're so happy to end up with. And you know, speaking of Fifty Shades of Grey, and it's hilarious that this trailer is debuting to play in front of Fifty Shades of Grey because they're just such the opposite. But you know, a lot of people are complaining that Christian Grey is like this ridiculous um, uh, guy that women are throwing themselves at and it's appalling and this is why real guys can't catch a break. But it's so great that you have a movie like this where, you know what, Christian Grey is just the weird, twisted, perverse fantasy. This is the guy that women want. And I think Bill Hader is not only a great romantic lead, but just a great comedian. And I'm so happy to see him getting these kinds of roles, lead roles. Usually he's like the best friend because he is attractive, he has a lot of charisma, and he's really talented. And again, totally the kind of guy you would end up with in real life. I think this is a great casting decision. 
But then there's also Tilda Swinton as her boss. Love seeing Tilda Swinton in that kind of role. And LeBron James. Look at all the comedy LeBron James is doing. I actually just saw a big article in The Hollywood Reporter about LeBron James's desire to build himself a Hollywood empire. He feels he only has so much time while well, he's in the spotlight thanks to his sports career, and now he wants to use that to transition into movies, etc. We'll see. I think he was helped a lot by the material here. I mean, LeBron James talking about Downton Abbey is uh, really, really uh, strong comedic stuff there. I wouldn't say comedic gold uh, just quite yet, but we'll see. And also, I thought that, that bit was funny just because, uh, you know, that's exactly how everybody feels. you got to watch the show when it's on that night because everyone's going to ruin it the next day. So again, the relatability factor. So I think this is a, a very strong trailer for what looks like to uh, be a very strong movie. Uh, and what a great way for Amy Schumer to really introduce herself to the mainstream audiences. Even though I'm familiar with some of her work uh, and I found it too crass, she's really an unknown commodity. And I think this is a very strong debut. And kudos to Judd Apatow for taking someone like this right to the front of the line. Uh, Hollywood usually likes to test stuff out and, uh, you know, see how things play in smaller venues. And so often they, they launch things or test things so poorly, they don't connect. And, and therefore they're like, see, we were right, you don't work. And, and that person wasn't allowed to present themselves in the best light possible. But that's what's happening here. And I see potentially big things for Amy Schumer with this movie, uh, maybe to the level of Seth Rogen. But then, of course, also hopefully for Bill Hader uh, and others involved. So what do you think of this trailer? Does it look like something you'd want to see? What do you think of it playing in front of Fifty Shades of Grey? And what do you think of the casting choices that have been made? Do you think it's wonderfully refreshing and realistic and relatable? Or do you think Hollywood casts the way ha they have for decades for a reason? Write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review, and you can check out some other episodes right now.